Hello and welcome back to another episode of Lamplighter's League. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough of this beautiful game. Time for us to dive into the uh, world map. So, we do have two of our agents on special missions and we're fighting against Lady Nicastro. By taking her out, we would get three extra ether, and I hope that greatly reduces threat also means uh, we're getting some extra threat reduction here, or she's just not doing as much in the future. Um, because the mission that she's currently doing, the last rights one, isn't particularly reducing that much uh, threat, unfortunately. We got uh quite a few healing materials that i still don't know what they are exactly used for but okay whatever and we got seven skill points which i exactly know what they are used for so that's a great reward plus an armor shred talisman this time we're going in with different agents i want to use the ones that we haven't uh, used so far so Latif uh, plus Eddie and uh, Puranima. Bit of a strange combination because we are just having like long ranged agents. These two here are going to be um, are going to slit the throats of enemies, are going to be secretive. And Eddie is pretty much kind of a mechanic. What I'm wondering is if the um, decoy of Latif will be enough for us to quote unquote tank what is going to come in but it's the best that we uh, have at the moment so might as well uh, go with flow let's go just another day in the life of a gentleman Jin. this ought to be a bit of fun look of course it's going to be substantially easier um, if these guys would have uh, had skill points. The angels of Nicastro's foul god. Deep stalkers were never meant to be seen on land. These cunning monsters cast delusions and spread putrefying. Oh, poison. and they deal high amounts of stress damage. Not great. Plus, they're immune to assassination. Swords from Marseille is here. Fantastic. Or, as they say, fan effing tastic. Let's do a bit of recon. I tend tend to not do it, but holy moly. So, and this here is a very open ground. This is where we saw the deep spawn over here. Hmm. This always works. Except when it don't. All right, come on. Go a little bit closer. Nice. Large amounts of burning. Okay. So, the shield maiden has just moved away. Let's move over here. Ungroup. Over there. Time to get to work. Too bad. Rounds remaining five. Until what? Until shrine responds. Okay. Good forty. Can't even hit. Hmm. 
Uh, distract. Uh, blind to all enemies. Uh, that was one from, from one of his cards. He could overwatch. And he can shoot his pistol. Plus buff a uh, target with shield maiden. Okay. That's for starters. Give everyone the inspired buff. Uh, we could hit both of these guys with our ultimate. I think that's what we're going to do. Okay, how about we're moving to here-ish. And then this here. Should be a kill, right? Good. Nice little hit. That's a kill. And can we slow them down? Nah, not really. <sighs> Blinded to all enemies. Affected enemies prioritize attacking Latif. Latif could also simply move and position himself uh, to stand in front of Eddie, which I think we're going to do because that gives him evade and that is how we can tank one shot. Got a potential explosion over here, which we definitely should take. What's the matter? Were you distracted? bit more burning I like that oh wow, we do have a lot of enemies more are coming Good, let's see. Invisible enemies cannot see this target. So that was a free action. Mm, I would like to get that extra AP. Not perfect, but okay. Now what's the deal, Eddie? One, 50-50, good. Let's get out of your stupid cover. I like that. Uh, 
One. And uh, two. How about we're taking two over here? That's how uh, then we can blind these folks over here or put a decoy down. Blinded and marked. Alternatively, which is even better, burn all of them. That'll make it more difficult for the other one to hey, even come close. There is our decoy. These two couldn't do anything. Sniper is sort of uh, moving back, hitting the decoy. Decoy is still alive, but barely so. Eddie kills. Doesn't have anything left over. Need to reload next turn, but for now I want all of this here to burn. Sniper killed sniper. That range penalty. Hmm. Listen, we're moving over here. Got our nice little evasion going. Blinded and provoked. Getting too crowded for my liking. Uh, I don't think the shrine. The, uh, I don't think that we can really get the shrine down. Reloading. Reloading. We're still. Very much trying to get these three clowns down. Throw flashbang bomb, blind marked. I think it's simply more efficient to get these guys down with the, in the old-fashioned way Never gun. two shots two hits reloading Uh, so many enemies. We're stuck just fighting against the onslaught of enemies coming in. 
Luckily, we haven't taken that much damage yet. One, two, three, four. Alright, overwatch in this direction. Do we have more fire? Yes, we do. Could throw it in here. Alright, everybody first of all gets inspired. Thank you. Good. We could lock this down and really hit them hard. Um. Of all good damage, I think we can simply move up. This is your fault. And then make it more difficult for them to approach us. Good hit. Get back! Get back! Agent has suffered a stress break. Are you telling me everybody is at stress break now? That'll fix you up. Could have used those hands back in Bella Wood. Okay, you can't heal from a stress break, apparently. Good to know. How about a challenge sometime? <laughs> you might almost be able to keep up with me. More burning. And we're killing a few of them. Fair enough. Moves up. Gets evasion going. And we're reloading. Twenty percent is not a really good hit. Marking targets. Okay, we basically only have one AP. Might as well overwatch. Good, stress bar is lowered. Well, that's that then. What's this then? Cool, so I got a bit of damage. We used, I think, all of our cooldowns signature abilities rather 
And we got stress for whatever that's worth. I don't know wait, wait. if that uh, means anything. I'm, I remember briefly that I think that that might uh, influence their combatability. I might be wrong. Oh no, 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 we don't want stress. We don't want stress. It's the last thing that we want. Yeah, we wouldn't have gotten all of these uh, things down. Too many shots uh, that we couldn't have put into fighting the enemies. Let's make tracks. Okay, we got that. We still have a ladder and with ladder high ground, and high ground is good for our sniper because she gets a lot of critical hit damage. Um, whilst we are at it, drop uh, the medical kit and that because hold up Eddie can use it come on y'all if possible I would like to use high ground with our sniper to deal with the shield maiden Into the old pocket with you. I think we're just going to let him take Thy second wind. Priestess of the cult of the devouring king, Lady Nicastro takes sadistic delight in cutting open her victims after toil. Good, now we got at least the electro traps. Why not? These guys here are a little bit more dangerous, so I got to be careful. Cool your heels. Juggernauts, formidable in their resolve. They fight with brute strength and play, and will stop at nothing to destroy the court's enemies. Interesting that they call themselves Purifier. That's very XCOM.
We can't slit these guys open. Good, we need to be super careful, but any single target. Any single target that I can kill now is not considered a threat later. Specifically this guy, ah, oh, I can't sucker punch, okay. You know that the enemies are strong when you cannot sucker punch them, right? Took care of that one for you. Alright, poor Nima. One more off the board. Sucker Punch is one as well. Got quite a few enemies. God damn it. All right, so no, 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 no. No, too dangerous. This lot running around wreaking havoc, can we? Sorry for the background noise, but uh, someone is having a little tantrum. Doesn't like to fight against that many enemies. Can understand her. Put the sentry here. Cannot be sucker punched, but an electric shock can take it down. Easy as pie. That thing don't belong on land. Well, we are unfortunately spotted out. Move up.
And how about we're doing something along the lines of this? We love a challenge, don't we, mate? Good, everybody is inspired. I like it. Enemy is marked. We are invisible. Regaining 1 AP. And it's shred its armor. Good hit. One, two, three. Flushed him out nicely. More hits. And hopefully that's going to be good enough to make them sort of flee. Fortunately, we're poisoned. Eddie heals himself. I think we're just going to snipe it down. Nice little bit of peace and quiet. Eddie fetches a medical kit. And we might be able to sucker punch this guy. <laughs> Fantastic. I mean, we used all of our out of combat abilities to the absolute maximum extent. Really can't do much more than that. That explosive, unfortunately, is not going to help anyone. Area power source, that would be good enough. Area power source. One, two, three, four. For the heels, boys. to here so that we're going to tank his potential shot Never saw it coming. shredding his armor so that he's almost down oh come on that's a cheap shot. You got someone right up your uh, your grill and you're deciding to go for someone completely different. Put 
bigger, the better. Alright, Eddie begins to heal himself. Okay, breathe through the nose. There we go. And picks up uh, the next medical kit. This team isn't particularly good in tanking anything. But they they are playing very different than what I'm uh, used to. Steal the eyeliner off your eyes. But it's interesting that you can still sort of make it. You just need to find the right way of dealing with things. We could flee or fight. Come on, come on. It's the age old, uh, age old question of flight or fight. I feel some a presence. All right, bring her with us. Let's meet up. Medical kit, uh, sure. What's this then? Stress remedy. Does anyone still have stress? No. But having a stress remedy isn't bad. Okay, since Latif is the tankiest of all characters, let me try to pull her with him. Come on, bring it on. All you need to do is come a little bit closer, madam. She should hear his footsteps. Okay, come on, come on. I like the noise mechanic if it works in your favor. Oh, 
Almost got me there. A fight is coming soon. Wait, wait, wait. Before we do that. Telling me you can't reach her, that would be ultra disappointing. There we go. All right, so the Herald, everybody. gets going and then I think we're just going to start with a classic shot 50% chance to crit 113 there we go Distract, blinded and provoked, which means she is sort of going over here and he has evasion, whilst Eddie is moving over here. In any case, I just don't want more than one attack. You want to bleed. I don't know about you, but I'd rather not die today. Forty. And another 40 for good measure. Not a good chance. Uh, she has evasion, which I don't like. Y'all may want to start running. But you can bypass evasion and heal yourself. Zero percent chance to hit, which I think we only can get rid of evasion. Too slow. By shooting at her, right? Yep, exactly right. Um, mark her. Then we're giving ourselves a nice me. buff. We have a good chance of hitting her, hopefully critting her. Next time. Next time I will Chef kiss. This. It's not done until you can confirm the kill. We fought her on our terms and we fought her very well. Frag grenades couldn't be evaded, that's what I learned. Uh, makes sense that if you're 
good at dodging. You still can't uh, dodge shrapnels. Although I would argue that you can't dodge bullets as well. That has been already debunked as a myth. Latif, uh, you know what? Get second wind because why not? Don't mind if I do. Picking up uh, the supplies. And Sharima. Who's not called Sharima? I. I just made that name up completely. Hmm. I'd like to kill a couple of these guys. Down we go. Now you see the guard, and now you don't. <laughs> Two sucker punches. Right into their stupid faces. There is a mode of fate. The luck of the gods, eh? I have to wonder what else do we get from just fighting these guys? There is not no such thing as combat experience, right? There is no such thing as combat experience. God, this job. Well, well, well. Let's first of all buff ourselves. It's good. It's a good start. A big fat critical hit would be nice. Can't hide from me. Marking into regaining that extra hit, uh, that extra AP. Yes, well, this will be over soon. And that was a fantastic crit. One, two, three. Did we knock that guy down? No. Apparently not. Y'all taking notes on this? Good hits. I like it. Kill this one guy and then they can't hit me if I'm not there anymore. We got our decoy over there. Just another day for the gentleman Jim. I hope that I sure hope that this radio is worth all of uh, the effort here. That was definitely worth it. Oh, what's that? Better go check it out. Blinding these guys.
One hit. Nah, we need. I'm just getting warmed up. We need to get these guys here down. Very good. Almost all melees are down. Hmm. How can we get... Oh, we, we could... Nah, we could not. I was uh, thinking we could flush them out with dual shot, but that is not happening. Uh, with... Uh, with Eddie's shot, but that's not happening. What we can do, though, is... We can hit uh, this guy really well. Decent hit. That would be our last bullet. Um, that would be our last bullet. I don't like it. Rather do this. Got the evasion, kill this guy. Such a burden being so good at so many things. And we're reloading. First evasion gone. Second evasion unfortunately hits. One, two, three, four. Light them up. That thing is almost down. All right, almost there. That was not it. That, was that however, was it. What's okay, next? cool. The mission is coming to an end. Um, Let's get it done. So what's our reward for all of that? A little bit of lore, cool. But what is this here? The gentleman Jin strikes again. Magdalen crate. I think that might be the extra or the um, optional objective that we could uh, that we could solve here. Sit tight. Got some more supplies and we're done. Her God with her shrines in ruins. Not yet, anyway. I would say overall good, uh, interesting team composition, but relies very heavily on consumables. So it was way less straightforward than our normal team. All right, so we gained uh, seven skill points with a B team. Oh, stress broken. The highwayman debuff suffers one additional stress when attacked while in cover. Hmm. Ever not, I'm back in that trench. Close enough to hear the machine guns. 
And the highwayman. Not a soldier. The unsteady. 25% chance to become knocked down at the start of the turn. Of course I know how this is going to end. That's why I don't think about it. Good, let's see. What do we have? Herald. Four turns. That's a good ability. We already have the Herald. This is Herald 2. And here... Oh, okay. So you can only exchange, uh, only ever exchange the ones that are not blocked. I see. Companions. When using buff abilities, 25% chance to have uh, ability cooldowns reduced. That's a really nice one. It's a really nice one. I like the Serpent. The Serpent is good. Debuff. Inflicts blinded on all enemies. Shield Maiden. Hmm. His cooldowns. Does he have a lot of cooldowns? Hmm, this would be perfect for our healer. Unfortunately, you cannot um, you cannot shift over the cards. I like the passive ability here. That's really good. Uh, we're seldomly really using the shield maiden. Might as well replace that. I can pull off even bigger heists with a team to support me. Yeah, the Herald is good. But we already have it, so I suppose we're okay. Mooring means more good. So Minus three against Nicastro. This will be of use. Uh, okay, cool. Four ether. That's actually a really good uh, option. So Nicastro gets a bit of threat. Minus three threat mission. Oh, we stopped them almost completely. I see. Still don't know what that means. Still don't know what those two uh, tokens mean. What'll it be? We're at almost 500 um, supply, which is great. Didn't we get a weapon mod, by the way? Oh yeah, what does it do? Weapon mod, 5 armor shred, and this here does... Hmm... Blinded is okay, but I think we need armor shredding. Passive upon suffering, stress break... Uh, how about we're giving you this, because just in case you have another stress break, we're going to be fine. And you can have that as well. Unfortunately, no armor for you. Good, we got enough spell point, uh, skill points to unlock new skills. I think we wanted either uh, crit means cooldown reduction. Or 50% uh, chance for cooldown reduction. That's not bad at all. I think this is okay. She just needs to continue to attack oftentimes as well. Which will reduce her cooldowns. And that will in return reduce a lot of the other stuff. So 
suppliers. Um, I think we had a good one here. What are we working on today? All right, passive reload abilities reduce cooldowns, so that'll be good. That's uh, I'm quite proud of that definite cooldown reduction. After missing an attack, um, you gain 15% hit chance for one attack. That's great. And what else could we get? We could get um, tier 2 healing elixirs and so on. They won't walk it for you. Gain 50% more ink when discarding a card. That is great. Uh, because we can upgrade them better. I think we're just focusing on the cards at the uh, at the moment. Really focusing on that one. Wanting to get uh, the expanded horizon. That extra card will be very, very useful. And then here, receive an additional undrawn card after completing a mission. This so we're going to do nice. that. And we're going to do that. And now this KA resource is missing. But we're relatively deep uh, into it. Of course, we can get more ink as well in the future. That's not bad. But we would need that additional resource Something there as well. And we're essentially blocked to go too deep yet. You wish to guide that. I assume we're going to get that that uh, resource later. Good, we got the agents, we got the skills unlocked. Is there a fate event? Yep. Knight of the Black Scarab, beneath the towering snow-capped peak of the Mount uh, Huascaran, a secret auction is about to take place. The Black Scarab, an ancient powerful relic rumored to have an exhibit divinatory powers, its main attraction. Locke receives an urgent request from the Council of Wardens to secure the Scarab, which is currently en route. Uh, they'll pay the League well for the efforts. So, two spell points, uh, two skill points. Um, Uh, yeah, we want skill points. Good. At the moment, we're just leveling these two, so the three aren't really helping anything. Uh, next, I think I want Femme Fatale. Femme F Fatale. And that'll be more damage plus cooldown reduction, which would be great. And then maybe Condemnation. This here seems to be fine as well. We can get that the stress uh, things a little bit later. And just for reference... This here is using Ser, Serenity, whatever. So, good. Let's take a look at our next mission. So here we would have uh, Nicastro, uh, Nicastro's efforts reduced. And we would get uh, Celestine. And you know that I like new heroes. So... That in itself is great. This here would be absolutely fabulous or <laughs> completely crushing the efforts. This here wouldn't be bad either. Reduces the Castro substantially. What is the reward here? Skirmish Talisman. Not sure what exactly that is. Ready to get your hands dirty. Good. We're getting more supplies and more ether. Stay sharp. Unfortunately, we only get two of these missions. We do have enough agents to supply even more missions, and I wish you could do multiple missions at once. That would really, really incentivize you to build up a roster, and then you can do multiple missions. But well, 
We know where the catalyst is located. Now we must move to recover it. Okay, understood his plan. This is unfortunately only reducing it by one. But we get a lot of skill points and Celestine. So Nicastro hasn't reached the second breaking point. Uh, and the others won't as well. Marteau doesn't seem to do anything. Strum at the moment is hem, uh, pretty hamstrum. <laughs> and yeah, I think we're okay. Can't understand why that big fat heist setup will only reduce it by two points. Whilst this year seems to be like the ultra reduction mission. It's an interesting mission, but it still does not um, solve the Nicastro uh, topic. I mean, granted, Nicastro seems to control just the majority of all of uh, the areas where stuff is happening. So, all of Europe, big chunk of Asia, South America, uh, Central America, and nothing is happening somewhere else. Trump, for instance, with Africa and um, Australia, it's just not happening at the moment. But maybe it's completely random, who knows. We're going to get Celestine uh, next. Curious to see what she's up to. And I think we're good. I think we're pretty much okay. Which brings us to the end of today's episode. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. As always, if you like Lamplighters League, leave a comment and a like down below. And uh, see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.